We are here with Old Dominion on Pure Country, CMA week. Always an exciting time for you guys. Are you feeling, do you ever feel nerves going into CMAs anymore after all the success you've had over the years? Every time. <laughs> yeah, every single time. It's, we, we love our jobs. We love what we're doing. And this is a good little indicator of, of how well we're doing. So uh, it's nice to get that reassurance sometimes. You have been touring a lot over the years in Canada. When's the next Canadian tour going to be coming around? Good, that's a good, that's a good question. question. I'd like yeah. to do one in the summertime. Yeah, maybe. Nice. I was going to say. <laughs> we have talked about that. Yeah, yeah, I know you guys like winter sports, but I feel like a summer tour, Old Dominion, makes sense. Like kind of more yeah. beachy vibes. Yeah, yeah, we need some Canadian golf in our life, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we're inviting you. Anytime okay. you guys want to come back in the summer. We're going to let our booking agent know you invited us back. Yeah. It's official. You're allowed to come <laughs> back across the border. <laughs> um, when it's warm. Yeah, when it's warm, I'm happy to come. Not that it wasn't fun getting to come see you guys on the No Bad Vibes yeah, Tour in the winter. Um, what has been kind of the thing for 2024 that has stood out the most to you guys as a band? Because you've had a lot of great things happen over your career, but what has 2024 really brought forward for you guys? I think, you know, the shows have kind of hit a new level. I mean, we put out a compilation, sort of a greatest hits uh uh, album which it blows my mind that we're even there but the shows I mean just the crowds and the and the people and the signs that they hold up for different songs we start to see this whole thing that we've built over the years kind of culminate into something that seems a lot bigger than we ever dreamed it would be yeah you guys have some great signs what's like the craziest sign that you've ever seen at an mm, old Dominion yeah. concert I don't know people really put there's always good ones them. for like beer can and truck bed yeah I feel like there's always like a 3D element, yeah. you know. There's <laughs> yeah. a real beer can bouncing around, and you know. was the great like greatest hits album inspired by the No Bad Vibes tour? Because you guys got so many requests for songs that yeah. I remember seeing you guys going like, "Oh my God, we haven't played this in forever." Yeah, it was definitely a direct response to that because we realized kind of halfway through that tour that we needed to make spots for requests because we didn't plan on that. It just kind of happened naturally, and realized how much better of a show it would be if we just let the fans take control of the set list a little bit and we learned a lot about them and what they like and what they're digging into so that was a big big motivation in putting out that compilation last thing before we go you guys have had so many great artists out on the road with you like young artists that you're now kind of getting to pay it forward with that happened to you when you were starting out who's an artist that maybe you feel like hasn't gotten the credit that they deserve yet that's kind of rising up in the ranks that's a good I mean, there's there's a couple. Uh, Cameron Marlowe, I think, is, is, is amazing. 100%. I mean, his voice is just unbelievable. Um, Ashley Cook is right on the yeah, cusp. Uh, she's killing it. I think Cameron Marlowe should come to Canada and we bring Ashley, too, when you guys come hey. in the summer. It's, it's a great tour. We just planned. Plan. Yes. <laughs> An official invite. <laughs> yeah. I'm also on the team now. I'm booking your tours in Canada. If you need anything, just let me know. Awesome. So good to see you guys. Can't wait to hear morning music and get you guys back in Canada. Old Dominion. Thank you. Thank you.